Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and this is me playing games, and we are going to hopefully finish Huntsville this session, because it is taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to, and she's not fun. Part of the reason that it is taking a long time is that these older games are a lot harder than I remember them being. And part of the reason is because my screen is super tiny and I can't see any of the things because this game is only windowed and it is so small. <laughs> so let's see if we can finish this off, shall we? All right, we are on case. Did we finish case 10 yet? No, we did not finish case 10. So we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and big boss. We should be able to finish this, she says optimistically. Okay, case 10, not so final resting place. A grave robber has been relieving Huntsville Cemetery residents of their most precious valuables. Test your up and coming crime solving abilities by unearthing more information in this dead serious matter. Scour the Huntsville Cemetery and Mausoleum as well as other noted locations for clues. When you found enough evidence, you can use the crime computer to identify the evil behind this sordid maleficence. Maleficence? No, that's a different word. Maleficence. All right, we're we're gonna start this off with a good one. Behind this sordid malfeasance, I think. All right, moving right along. Ooh, a reptile house. Did we do that one the last one? We did not do either of these. Let's start at Hunt and Peck. Okay. Two apples, two pocket watches, license plate, five bottles, gramophone, pipe, picture locket, and feather. Well, I know where the locket is, because I thought there was a pair of glasses. Oh, there's a feather. And the two apples are identicals. They just copy pasted them. Five bottles. One, two, three. This would take so much less time if I didn't have to wait for the items to disappear before I could click on the next one. There we go. Okay. One pocket watch, and I know I saw the other one. There it is. And a license plate and a gramophone. The gramophone should be big, shouldn't it? Oh. oh, I remember this. This is not a gramophone. This is a record player. Record players are not gramophones. They are not. I've forgotten the word. Oh, good. We're going to have one of these days. Gramophones and record players are not interchangeable words, is what I was trying to say. Oh, there's a license plate. It looks like it might have been a Vermont one. Hmm. Okay, let's do Ivan's Cafe. A coat hanger, butterfly, crab, two beetles, wa waxy. Mm -hmm, good job. Whiskey, handbag, axe, and billiard ball. Okay, I don't remember where any of those are. There's a beetle. Beetle, beetle. Oh, there's a handbag. Whisk. Oh, for heaven's sakes. All right, full disclosure, I didn't take my ADHD medication this morning and it's really cloudy and gross out so, and I'm solar powered. <laughs> I took all my other medicine. I just didn't take my ADHD medicine. So I might be slightly more, slightly more this than normal. <laughs> Sorry. Or not. I don't know. Am I more amusing this way? My husband doesn't think so. <laughs> oh, that's not a beetle. That's a crab. Oh, I need a crab. That's not a beetle, but I bet it's going to say it is. Yeah, it's a cockroach. I guess cockroaches are beetles. All right, where's the coat hanger? That... Oh, there it is. I thought that was another triangle, but it is not. I mean, it is a triangle, but... Yeah. Safety pin, scoop, open scissors, spool, phone handset, three whisks, ruler, and a dime. Is that going to be counted as a whisk? No, that's an egg beater. Okay, let's see. Safety pin, scoop, open scissors. There's the open scissors. A spool. 
Oh, there's a safety pin. Phone handset. That's not really a thing anymore. Unless you're talking about one that's like a complete thing. And then the cradle doesn't really do anything. There's no like numbers on it or anything. Ruler and a dime. Ooh, I know where the ruler is. There's a ruler. Oh, there's a dime. Here we go. Three whisks. Oh, no, that's a fork. That's a potato masher. Is that a whisk? No, that's part of the beater. Phone handset middle. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's an old-fashioned teal one. They had like five colors back in the olden days. Another whisk. Oh, there's another whisk. Wow, how did I miss those initially? Oh, they're all three of them right in a row. Jeez Louise. I don't know why my voice is going either. I haven't been talking all day. They had five colors and they were all ugly. Yes. Mm -hmm. I lived in a house that was painted the whole entire kitchen, cabinets, walls, everything, olive green. And that was like high fashion at the time. And it was not when I lived there. It was, it was unpleasant color. But apparently that was better than having all the walls be white. I don't know. Where's the spool? Spool, spool, spool. I kind of like the music in this game. It's weird, but it's not bad. I don't think I'm actually looking. I can't tell. This is a tennis ball. I love that there's a bouncy ball on this. I don't see a spool either. Maybe they don't mean spool. Maybe they mean something else. Quick, next. No! Oh, wow, that is there. Look, there's a spool of thread. That was very well hidden. Happy. All right, let's do the reptile house. Wow. That was not what I was expecting. This is not really a reptile house so much as it is a reptile habitat filled with stuff that shouldn't be in reptile habitat. Okay. A pipe, four snakes, two masks, a bucket, two eggs, horn, three butterflies, and a sundial. Well, let's find the snake. I found one of the snakes already. There's a snake. And there's a snake. And is that a snake? That's a snake. No, really? Is it because it's full of snakes or is it just because it's really cluttered? Let's see, a pipe and a mask. Is that, well, there's a pipe. That's not a mask though. Too cluttered. Yeah, that doesn't bother me so much with these. Snakes are in fact awesome. Why is my voice going away? I need it. A bucket. Ah, there's a cooked egg. I wonder if the other one will also be cooked. Probably not. Here's a turtle. Three butterflies. One, a ladybug, and a spider, and a dragon. I don't know what that is. I think that's supposed to be something. There's another mask. There's a beetle. I don't need a beetle. I need two butterflies. Sundial next to the sand timer. Hourglass? I called a, an hourglass a sundial the other day, so don't feel bad. And hourglasses are definitely not sundials. They are, in fact, sand timers, though. Another spider. I'm not looking for spiders. I'm looking for an egg and a horn and two butterflies. Ah, I think that's a horn. Yep. And an egg. Ta da! And two butterflies. Butterfly! That one was extremely obvious. Oh, there's the other one. Also extremely obvious. I love that they put army men in there. That's adorable. Should we go to the mausoleum or the cemetery first? Let's do the mausoleum. Wow, this is a very fancy mausoleum. <laughs> Nefertiti and King Tut. I think this is also King Tut, actually. And Ibis. All right, what am I doing? Why is there a noose? Who knows? All right, wire clippers, flashlight, pencil, bell, flower, plate, lock, and six dominoes. Well, there's one dominoes. There's another one. If they were actually like domino colored, I'd probably be able to find them easier. 
they are trying to blend them in and be sneaky about it. Alright, well I found four of them. Alright, let's see. Fire clipper flashlight pencil. Is that the pencil? Yep. Let's see. What else is in here? Lots of skulls in here. Those two skulls are both eating a banana. That is somehow disturbing, and I'm going to keep going. And now I forget what I'm looking for that distracted me. Oh wait, I need a lock. Wow. Uh, let's see. A flower and a plate and a bell. It's a spider. What is that? Is that part of a phone or something? It looks like a microphone. There's a phone. And a bird. Lot oh, there's a ghost up here. That's cute. I think that's supposed to be a lightning bug, but I don't think it actually is. I don't know what I'm looking for. Wire clipper, flashlight, bell. Plate, lower, left. Oh yeah, the skull is on it. I'm sorry, I got distracted by these two. Flashlight... Oh, there's a flower on the sombrero. And a bell. And an oh, I'm looking for another domino, too. Domino. I'm trying to make it so my eyes go where my mouse is. I just slammed into my microphone. I was afraid I was going to knock it on the floor. All right, focus. Oh, there's the bell. Good job. See, we, could, we knew we could do it. That was a complete accident. One domino, wire clipper, and a flashlight. Okay, I can I can hold three things in my brain at once. That is a fate a feat. Oh, that is a feat I am capable of. There's the wire clippers. Ha! It's actually more like a nail puller, but that works. Flashlight and one domino. Flashlight. Hmm. It'd help if the flashlight was on. It'd also help if my screen was a little tiny bit bigger. Yes, no one knows what wire clippers look like. Sometimes they look like pliers, sometimes they look like nail pullers, sometimes they- I've seen one that looks like a nutcracker. Like, not like a, a nutcracker nutcracker, but a thing for cracking nuts. Oh, pooey. No, that's not it. What is this? No, it's a violin. There's a clock. I think that's either a soda bottle, but it kind of looks like a lava lamp. All right. Oh, uh, is that a flashlight? No, that's a trophy. Keys, Nefertiti, a skull, lots and lots of skulls. There's an ice cream sundae. I had ice cream today already. Hee 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 hee. I want there to be a domino here. I think there already was a domino there, though. And I think I found it already. All right, my, I'm not getting any of this. Oh, see? They made it the same color as the thing. That's cheating. All right, should we go on? Let's go to the next one. Because we only need eight more. Maybe we'll be luckier over here. Wow, probably not. Creepy. I seem to think I've seen this exact mausoleum in another hidden object game, but it might just be they're all kind of shaped the same. Let's see. Clarinet, bell, four ghosts. Who's a ghost? Blackbird, horseshoe, two forks, two owls. There's an owl. And a pair of glasses. Let's see, where's some more ghosts? There's a ghost. That's actually the scream mask, but that's fine. Are you a ghost? Really? All right, sure. Is that a ghost? Those are not very ghosty ghosts. All right, we need more things. Clarinet. A bell and a blackbird. I saw a bird. That's not it, is it? Man, it's hard to see in there. There's a bat. Bats are cool. Bats eat mosquitoes, so bats are some of my favorite people. Anything that eats mosquitoes is my favorite people. What on earth is that supposed to be? That is like some kind of creepy crawly do. Not cool. Oh, there's a fork. There's a mouse. That's kind of creepy. Martable something or other. Born. 
March 13th, 1840 something. Wait, is that the bird? That's a crow. It is in fact a black bird, though, if you want to be technical. A uh, horseshoe and another fork. Did I see a horseshoe? There's a pineapple. And a bell. I found the bell. There's a horseshoe. I did not see it. That is a horseshoe right there. See it? Thank you, poopy head. Okay, let's see. Pair of glasses. That I did not see. Pair of glasses, one fork, and a blackbird. Pair of glasses. And a mouse. There's a spoon. Does that count? No. There's a key. Is the blackbird the tiny smudge under the branch that looks like a hand? Oh, yes it is! Good eye. Or good pattern recognition anyway. Because you kind of can't use your actual eyes for this game because everything is too small. There's a grasshopper. Uh, one fork and a pair of... Oh, there's the other fork. Wait, that's a fork? Do you see it? Fork. Unless that's where the first fork was and it's like its shadow. So, fork in the lower right. Oh yeah, I totally walked right by that too. Like I saw the knife and the spoon and the fork and did not even consider that they were a thing. Glasses. Hmm. Yeah, that must be the shadow left over from where the thing was supposed to be. <laughs> Alright, I either need to find the glasses over here, or I need to find the other thing in the other place. Is that part of the glasses? No. Or just use that last hint. Oh, I forgot I had a last hint. Jeez. I might have found that. Maybe. Oh boy, this looks interesting. Alright, where does your head go, sir? What's with the little skull? Okay, the tree's up here. That was there. Why has it got a weird little skull thing on there? That's not in the picture. Wow, that looks like it should go there. Spiders outside are cool. Spiders inside, not so much. As I mean, they can be inside as long as they aren't anywhere I can see or feel them. Like right now, there could be a hundred spiders underneath my desk waiting to catch evil mosquitoes. And that's fine. I don't care. But if I see any of them, they're dead to me. And as long as we have that understanding with each other, we're, we're fine. I am having a hard time with this puzzle and I don't know why. There we go. Exceptionally done, Agent Fate. You have uncovered the mysterious grave robber's identity. It's that dude. Yes. Pawn Shop Pete's assistant Lou has been selling unearthed personal effects at the shop for some time. It's kind of messed up. Thanks to you, Lou's digging days are done. Your super superlative spying skills have earned you the new ranking of undercover agent. Superlative? Click below if you can handle the truth. Maybe I can't. All right, well, that wasn't too bad. We finished a little early on that one instead of like seconds before the time ran out like we did in the last time we played. Yet I, I am off my meds and I apologize, but y'all have to cope. All right, case 11, Confidence Man. Hapless Huntsville citizens have been hoodwinked by a sinister and pervasive pyramid scheme. Ooh, we don't like pyramid schemes. See if you can identify the head honcho in the swindling scenario and put him behind bars. Search the toy store, pet store, and other crime scenes for clues to the manipulative mastermind's whereabouts. When you have gathered enough evidence, use the deciphering deftness of the crime computer to unravel this mystery. Well, let's go to the science museum. 
I, I just edited the first version of this and posted it on YouTube, and I remember talking about the heart. Turns out there's a heart in another part of the city, as it were, except it's on its side, and I could not for the life of me figure out what it was because the graphics are so small. <laughs> but it's the exact same picture. All right, let's see. Stop sign, hairbrush, beach ball, tree branch, shrunken head, that's right there. Surfboard, barrel, and an artichoke, which is right there. Surfboard, I think I remember seeing a surfboard. All right, let's see, stop sign, that, oh, there's a stop sign. I was gonna say, I would think I'd also remember seeing a stop sign. Hairbrush, beach ball, tree branch, surfboard, barrel. Barrel on the shelves. There are lots of shelves, Odd Punk. Oh, I see it, I see it. It looks like an old barrel of monkeys, except I thought they were always red. Maybe not. Uh, a beach ball. I knew where that was. Uh, let's see, a tree branch. That I don't remember. Tree branch, hairbrush, and a surfboard. It's a ladybug. There's a dude's face that looks like a green man, kind of. Oh, there's- is that it? Those are leaves. I think, as a matter of fact, I you had that clue for leaves last time. Right. Oh, there's a surfboard next to the visible man diagram. It's kind of silly. Wait, I remember seeing- up oh, there it is! I remember the hairbrush. That kind of doesn't look like a hairbrush, but... Alright, um, let's do... what's Captain's Inn? Oh, we've been here before because I remember that creepy face. Throttle, three clocks, ear, mouse, two fish, elephant, locket, and three butterflies. Okay, a throttle? Like a gear shift? Fish are on the statue. I knew that! Because it's a fisherman statue and I remember complaining about that last time. There's a butterfly there too. It's actually covered in all kinds of things that I missed the first time I played this level. Uh, and I thought I saw the elephant. Nope, that's a cow. Cows and elephants are not the same animals. He's a frog. I forgot what I'm looking for. Uh, throttle, three clocks. We can find the clocks. One, two, oh, and I bet this is a throttle for like a steamship. Yep. Oh, there's the elephant. I knew I'd seen him before. There's a frog. And a turtle. Uh, one clock ear. Does he have an ear? No, of course not. There's a hand. Two butterflies, locket, mouse, ear, one clock. Check out at 11. This kind of looks like a fish too, but maybe that's supposed to be a bird. There's another bird and a cowboy and boots. What am I looking for? Not a chicken. A locket. Doo, 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 doo. There's a clock. There's a lure. Locket and lure start with the same letter. So does letter. There's the ear. I, I was gonna say I could sing the L song. La 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 la. Lemon. That was terrible. I'm try again. La 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 la. Lemon. Better. Helps if you pick the right key. Butterfly. I'm focused. I'm just not focused on the right things. That's the important issue. What am I looking for? I guess not. I mean, I've done it before with other ones. This one, not so much. There's too much to look at. Oh wait, there's a mouse. I saw the mouse before. Okay, I need a butterfly and a locket. <laughs> um. There's this, a $10 bill. I don't know why I clicked on that. There's a domino. Umbrella. Do I need an umbrella? No, I need a locket. There's a spoon. Is this the locket? No, that's just a necklace. That's a periscope. That's adorable. I remember seeing that last time. Butterfly above Saturn. On the luggage. Oh yeah, right in front of my face. Good job, me. Alright, and then the locket. Is he wearing a locket? No, that's an acorn. Is that a locket? That's a locket. That doesn't look like a locket. That just looks like a necklace. Uh, let's do the fire stage. Oh, this was the one with the heart. See, there's the heart. It's sideways. I was thinking it kind of looked like a dragon, like with here's the head and that's the body and maybe there's wings, but that's actually just a sideways heart. 
pliers, three hooks, three hearts, <gasps> a heart, goggles, baseball, lantern, three wrenches, and a washboard. All right, pliers. Those are actually pliers. Those are correct. Let's see, three hooks. One, two, three, and two hearts. Well, I, oh no, two more hearts. There's a fishy. I didn't see that the first time, but I saw it when I was editing. It's adorable. Heart on the windshield. Yes. And goggles, I thought I saw last time I was here. Yeah, there they are. Okay. There's a machine gun water pistol. Let's see, three wrenches. There's one. A lantern, I saw it too. Now I'm looking for the wrenches. There's a spider. There's a wrench. That's supposed to be a lantern. That's more like a sconce. Yeah, or a torch. I mean, it is a torch, but it's designed like a sconce. I forgot what I'm looking for. One heart, baseball. I saw the baseball. Where did I see the baseball? Baseball. Do, 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 do. Wait, there's an ice cream scoop. I don't need an ice cream scoop. Why did I think I need an ice cream scoop? There's a flashlight. I needed that, the other game. Wrench next to the drumming clown thing. If that is definitely a drumming clown thing, you are not wrong. I could have sworn I saw baseball. That's annoying. Lantern, I thought I saw also. I mean, that's technically a lantern if you're in the UK. No, a torch. That's a torch if you're in the UK, which always confused me in um, British books as a kid, because I thought they literally had torches, which I guess makes kind of sense if you're exploring something. I just couldn't figure out where they'd gotten them from. And okay, another heart and a baseball. Let's try going backwards. There's a fireman. And a grapefruit. And I'm looking for a heart and a baseball. There's a fire company symbol and a frog. I was very disappointed to find out the torture and flashlight. Yeah, I mean, like, I had no basis for thinking otherwise, really. It's a dragon. I remember him. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're British. They're all old-timey and cool. Why wouldn't they use torches? I would use a torch if I could. Yeah, they live in castles. Oh, there's the baseball. It was high. I don't need to be that loud. There's the baseball. It was living inside the gas mask. I don't see the heart, so let's go to the next place. Because I have a feeling we're going to need to save our hints. Let's go to the toy store. Oh, I love the toy store. The toy store has so much cool stuff. Okay. Teapot. Eight cowboys. Cool. Light bulb. Radio. Television. Two locomotives. Two feathers. Three heads with glasses. That's a weird thing. There's cowboy. And there's cowboy. Lower, middle, behind the house. Yes. And then another cowboy. And there- oh, These things! They're like- I remember having one of these, or somebody had one of these, that didn't have glasses, and basically it's like a soft rubber, and in the back of it there's like holes to put your fingers, and you can like move it around and make its mouth open and its face all crunkle and stuff. Sorry. <laughs> I'll have to look that up and see what I'm talking about because I know what I'm talking about, but I'm guessing nobody else knows what I'm talking about. That I think is one of those head mugs. Burning daylight. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's another one. It's the same thing. There were there were like these weird soft plastic puppets. I'm looking for cowboys though. There's another head with glasses. And a light bulb. I saw a light bulb. No, that was in the last one. I saw a light bulb here. There we go. And a radio. That's an accordion. Not a radio. That's a television. Isn't that a television? Really? What the heck is that then? Huh. Uh, is that a radio? That's a radio. Okay, two feathers. Did I see feathers? I thought I saw one feather. Television middle shelf on the right. Oh yeah, look at that. Behind the cowboy! I need a cowboy. Oh, and there's one right next to him. And there's another feather and another cowboy. This shelf had lots of things on it. All right, two trains and another feather. Two trains. The trains are probably on the floor. Oh wait, no, there's part of it. Isn't that part of a train? Yes, it is. 
There's a train. I think that's supposed to be a boat. That is a cool tank toy. Uh, I'm looking for a train and a feather. There's a train. I thought I saw a feather like in somebody's hat. Yes, these are feathers. That's not what you're looking for though. Oh, there's the other feather. Okay. Now everyone who doesn't know me needs to imagine what it's like to have a conversation with me when I'm not on my ADHD medication. Because it is very much exactly like this. There's so many fuzzy animals. All right, a folding ruler, football, four footprint sets, three cats, two guinea pigs, there's one. A blue bottle, a rooster, and two elephants. I don't think elephants are good things to have in a pet store. I'm pretty sure it's illegal to sell elephants in pet stores. Or at all. At least in this country. I don't know. I wonder if it's illegal to sell elephants other places. Probably. There's a key cat. And a bunny and a parrot. What am I looking for parrots? No, I'm looking for roosters. Those are sort of the same thing. Kind of, sort of. What am I looking for? That's a toucan. Folding ruler, four sets of footprints. Do we see any footprints? That's a dinosaur. Dinosaurs aren't real. I mean, live dinosaurs aren't real. There's a rooster. Oh, wow, he comes with a cage. All right, let's see. Two cats, one guinea pig. There's another bunny. There's another kitty. That's a raccoon. Raccoons are like pointy kitties. I don't know. Oh, there's another kitty cat. I think that was in a different level. GP next to the monkey cage. Oh, the monkey's in a cage. That's mean. Guinea pigs are amazing. I need an elephant. That's a gorilla. And a fishy. I don't need a fishy. Oh, I need a blue bottle. Is that a blue bottle? No, that's his tail. It kind of looks like a blue bottle. Do I actually need it to be blue? Yes, I do. Okay. I don't see any blue anything. There's a pink bottle. Who was I looking for? Oh, footprints. I haven't seen any footprints either. Oh wait, I saw the folded ruler. There it is. There's some footprints. Wow, those are really tiny footprints. Oh, here's some more. Those are chicken footprints. Or bird footprints, anyway. Okay. A blue bottle, two... I still think that's the bottle. Oh no, that's a marble. There's the blue bottle. Chicken tracks next to the green feather. This. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, one more set of footprints and two elephants. There's an elephant who's hiding behind the phonograph seat or gramophone. One of the other, one of the other. I'm sure there's a difference between those two things, but those seem to be interchangeable in most games, at least. I don't know about it in reality. There's a hamburger. What am I looking for? One elephant and one footprints. There's a camel. And gorilla. We already saw the gorilla. I don't know what that is. I think that's a hinge. That's weird looking. There's a puppy. Oh, there's an elephant. It's on a stamp. One of my goals in life is to be friends with an elephant. I just want to be friends with them so I could go and play with them and they can, they can do their trunk thing. Yeah. I think I'm going to go to the next level. <laughs> All right. The mausoleum again. Two butterflies, which I remember seeing. There's one. Three seahorses, a tambourine, a sun, which I also saw, but now I don't see it. Uh, a winged creature, which I also saw. There, is that it? That's pretty cool. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Butterfly, upper left. Yeah, there's another one. I knew I'd seen butterflies. A bloody hand, that's down here. A bell, which was up here. And a hammer, which I did see. Okay, so three seahorses, a tambourine, a sun, and a hammer. There's a skull skin. That's kind of creepy. There's a seahorse. Tambourine under the cow skull. Where is the cow skull? Need a bird. Nope. I don't see the cow skull. Where's the cow skull? Maybe I should just look for the- Oh, there's a tambourine. There's a cow skull right above it. <laughs> oh, there's a the hammer. Oh, what's her name? I know her too. She's a famous statue person. Where's the sun? I remember seeing the sun. Didn't I? Maybe not. Two seahorses and the sun. Okay, let's find the seahorses. 
There's the ghosts. Do 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 do. There's the horse. I thought that was another butterfly, but that's a bow. Remember, you have three hints. Oh, right, and I only need three more things left. Or, well, yeah. But I can, I don't want, I want to see if I can find one more. Don't I? Seahorse. I knew I saw it. I want to find this stupid sun. I remember seeing the sun. Unless that was a different level and I'm completely making it up, which is always possible. Fine. Nope. I was making it up because I was thinking of a completely different sun. All right, so which one should we try? Let's do the exotic pets. Where is that last footprint? Oh, wow, right in the middle. If the screen was bigger, I definitely would have seen that. Okay, where's your head, sir? Wait, hang on. I'm having a problem with remembering what human anatomy looks like. That's good. He's stealing stuff. I think. I actually forget what he was supposed to be doing. Oh, he's a pyramid scheme, dude. Pyramid schemes are not nice. Um, I watch the Illuminati, which is not spelled the way you think it is. And she is a pyramid against pyramid schemes. And it is a great channel. I will link in the description. Also, for those who don't know, I link everything weird I ramble on about in the description. So if you are ever confused by what the heck I'm talking about, you can always check out the description in my videos and see if you can figure it out from there. Why is this not a piece over here? Oh, it is. So that's the thing. Yes, you do in fact do that quite a bit. I will mostly put stuff in if I can find information on it, or if I already know the information. Uh, the, the, the interesting thing, I did find out at one point when we were talking particularly long about all kinds of ridiculousness, is that there is a 5,000 word character limit to the description in YouTube videos. So in case you ever wanted to ramble on forever, just know you can't. <laughs> now you're just being ridiculous. We didn't even see an emu. Emus are cool though. I do in fact enjoy emus. Where does this go? Oh, that's part of his hat. I thought that was like a piece of glass. And you're a head and you're that creepy mask. Why does this creepy mask look so familiar to me? I don't think I looked that up the last time I played this. Awesome apprehending, bleh, awesome apprehending, ancient fate. You busted hoodwinked Harry, attempting to hightail to hightail it out of Huntsville. Town citizens can rest easy knowing Harry's horn swaggling has halted. Oh my gosh! The emblem on his jacket looks oddly familiar. He has a jacket. Where? Your clue-catching capacity awards you the new title of Sleuth Hound. Oh, that's that little stupid skull thing that I saw in the graveyard. Click below to begin your next assignment. That must be like their criminal organization or something. Oh, look, it's got a puppy picture on it. Okay, three more. We can do this. We've only been playing for 45 minutes-ish. All right. Kate, right. I knew that. Shush. Time limit 26 minutes. The esteemed law offices of Hunt and Peck are in the midst of a monstrous embezzlement scandal. <gasps> Collect clues to identify the nefarious ne'er do well who has been putting them in the red. Possible crime scenes include the pawn shop, the art museum, and the Huntsville Cemetery. When enough clues are found, use the mind boggling power of the crime computer to solve the case. Boy, this town has some issues. I wonder if that's all the places. I think, I, I don't know if there's gonna be any more locations. Uh, I guess let's start at the law office. A seal press, which is here, because I missed it the first time because I was looking for something completely different. Violin spoon pair. Stack of plates, is that this? No. Two apples, which are still over here, and a glove. Okay. 
So let's see, a violin, a spoon, and a stack of plates. A violin, oh, there's a violin. Glove next to the globe. And scissors, I don't remember if there were scissors here, and a spoon. Oh, there's a scissors. Oh, and there's a spoon. Oh, there's a stack of plates. I kind of thought that this was like a lid for something, but it's just a smaller stack of plates. That one was easy. All right, let's do the art museum. I love this. Okay, pen, paperclip, saw, spoon, paper bag, dagger, golden crown, and bananas. I could go for a banana. Bananas are delicious. Pen, saw, spoon, paper bag. Is this a paper bag? No. Golden crown, upper left. Oh yeah, look at that. Pen saw spoon. There's an ear. There's a hot pepper. There's a dude in a mohawk. That's a little bit different. Okay. That's an owl and a gavel and a brain. Drumsticks. I'm not doing well here. Saw. Here we go. There's a barbed wire and a hamburger. Pen, spoon, paper bag, dagger, and bananas. Isn't this like a famous piece of artwork, or am I making that up? With like the, the stool with the bicycle wheel spoon next to the pear. Oh yeah. There's an egg. Come on, brain, you can do this. Oh, there's a frog. There's a fish in the picture and a rainbow. And what else? How is that not the paper bag? That looks like a paper bag, like all scrumpled up. Scrumpled is totally a word. I forgot. Oh, bananas! Bananas! Paper bag behind the wheel. Really? Oh! Yes! I actually remember missing that the first time I played. Is that a dagger? No. I oh, okay. I, I thought that was a sword. I was looking for something slightly smaller. And I need a pen. Oh, actually, oh wait, is that the pen? No, it's a gavel. All right, let's go to the next one. We'll stop when we get to one, and then hopefully we'll get through this faster. I love the clock shop. The clock shop is silly. Two cameras, a sword, a pistol, a parking meter, a time clock, once again, that's silly, a hummingbird, a lemon, and a top hat, except this is the time clock. They mean a punch clock, or like punching in at work. All clocks are time clocks. There's the lemon on top of baby Donald Trump's head. And let's see, I need a sword and a pistol and two cameras. There's one and two. And what else? And a hummingbird. I think I remember there being a hummingbird. A hummingbird and a top hat. Oh, there's a top hat. A parking meter. Oh, there's a parking meter. Oh, there's a hummingbird. I was right, I remembered. Yep, I got it. I like this one. It's got the rocket ship in the wallpaper. I think that's really well done. Uh, let's see. A sword and a pistol. That's a scythe. I keep thinking that's a sword and I don't know why. I know they sound the same, but they are not the same. This is not a pipe. Uh, there's a pistol. What am I looking for? Oh, sword. Oh, wait, we're gonna go to the next one. I forgot my own rule already. Captain's Inn. Oh, we're here with that creepy face again. Fishing lure is over here. Gold coin, gears, old key, acorn, which is right there. Three clocks, a necklace, and a periscope. There's a periscope. Periscope is cool. I think when I was a kid, we had a pretend periscope that came with, well, it wasn't pretend. It had mirrors in it. But it was like for, um, like a little kid's, uh, spy kit. It was pretty cool. I don't remember anything about it, except we figured out that there were mirrors in it. Yeah, yeah, you remember, right? I think that's the sun I was thinking about in the last thing. Okay, okay, I need to look at this old key. I saw a key, but I don't remember where. I love the hat. Oh, there's the gears. I love the hat up there. The keys were like... Nope, I don't remember where the key is. There's a pretzel. Oh, I need another clock. There's the other clock. And a necklace. That's technically a necklace. Oh, the necklace is down here. That. Yep. You're finding things, like, exactly as I find them. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's not my fault. We're both supposed to be looking in the exact same place. <laughs> I know I saw a key here. Where is it? Oh wait, we're down to one thing again. I keep forgetting we're going to the next thing. Yeah, 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 see, see? We're thinking the same. Except I need to think faster. Rolling pin, apple, scythe, two mice, knife, fish, poison bottle, spoon. Spoon, scythe. Poison bottle. Fish. I remember seeing a fish, but I don't remember where it is. Let's see. Apple and two mice. Oh, there's a fish. That is a weird looking fish. Oh, there's mice. A mouse. A single mouse. A single mice is a mouse. A single moose is a moose. Let's see, apple and a rolling pin. There's apple. Where's the rolling pin? And the knife. Do, do, do. Hmm. Oh, there's a knife. I keep forgetting to look on the chair for some reason. Oh, there's a wasp's nest. Alright, one mouse and a rolling pin. Here, mousy mousy. There's a very weird looking... I think that's supposed to be a chameleon, but it's got a giant eyeball. I <laughs> love Abraham Lincoln with the spiked hair. Alright, where is the mouse? We have to find one of them or we can't go- Oh, there it is! It's a white mouse! That's tricky. Alright. Next map. Pete's Pawn Shop. Telephone, deck of cards, toy top, flower, tack, seven, dime, and an oar. That's the oar. And this is not the deck of cards. And it is also not a straight, which is what my brain said last time we played. That is, in fact, a four of a kind ace high. That is the deck of cards. Flower. Attack. Attack. A telephone. <laughs> yeah, maybe I shouldn't play this particular game. Top, lower, left, shelf. That sounds funny. Top, lower, left, shelf. Because it's the top and the lower. Okay. <laughs> that is 100% a seven. Psh. All right, tack a seven and a dime. I think the tack is on the wall somewhere. There's a frog and a fish and a bear. And a butterfly. Ah, there's a real fly in here. Get away, fly. Stupid fly. I'm glad I'm not the only one that clicking something over and go that counts. It does. <sighs> so irritating. Is that the tack? No, it's a screw. Yeah, I got you back into these games again, didn't I? Ha ha ha! I finally got you trapped into a hobby. You and your brother are hobby pushers. You're like, hey, you like this thing? It's really cool. You can have a little bit for free and then you have to spend all of your money on this hobby for the rest of your natural life. Yes, that's what I, yes, you did. And that looks like the crown in Hidden Mysteries, like that they use in their um, cover picture. I wonder if it's the same crown. All right, we found, I'm annoyed about that seven. All right, we need a clarinet, a bench axe, okay, a pencil, a cat, two spoons, a rat, two spiders, and a chess piece. What is a spoon? What's a bench axe? Is that this? It just looks like a regular axe. Now I have to look up which a, what a bench axe is. All right, there's the pencil, a cat, another spoon. Oh, there's another fork. Oh, there's the other spoon. Um, two spiders. I know I saw spiders over here. There's one. Oh, there's the other one right there. And a chess piece, and a rat, and a cat. It's an owl. It's a bat. Is that a rat? What is that if it's not a rat or a cat? I don't know. Oh, there's a chess piece. Is that supposed to be a cat? Oh, it doesn't look like a cat to me. That definitely looks like a rat to me, though. 
I'm using the hint on that. Where do you see a rat? Oh, there it is! That's the body and that's the tail. Jeez. It sparkled and I didn't even see it. All right, we need four more. So we have to do, we're in trouble. Uh, let's go back to the art museum. A pen. A pen should be easy because it has to be up and down. You know, like it has to be straight. Ah, oh, there it is. Ha 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 ha. All right, and let's go to the clock shop. A sword. Oh wait, is this a sword? There we go. See, I am good at these. I just am not always good at these. Old key. I know that key is in here. Matter of fact, I'm using the hint on it. There it is! I knew I saw it! Sheesh. Alright, we got one more. The barber shop with the rolling pin. There it is, right on the counter. Holy crow. Alright. I forgot what the crime was already. I did that last time, too. It's almost as if I'm not paying attention to what's going on. What's this There's a colorful something in that image. Yes, it is a colorful lady doing something. But I don't remember what. Yes. Hello, Erdite. Nice of you to join us. Oh, that's right, she's embezzling money. I remember now. I don't think stealing money from the safe is the same as embezzling, but I guess close. It is. So you can just steal stealing money from the cash register is the same as embezzle or is it's the same <sighs> is embezzling. Oh, you missed a part where I didn't take my ADHD medication today. <laughs> <laughs> So, just FYI. I am doing okay. I still love that little piggy. It's adorable. I just keep getting distracted by all the distracting things, which is everything in the picture, because there's lots of things in these pictures. Huh, I didn't know that. I thought it was just theft. Who knew? Erdite, apparently. Well, yeah, I know, but I mean, I didn't think it was something specific. I just thought it would fall under um, the same thing. I'm not paying attention. Okay, where's the Oh, Ha, ha, ha. Excellent work, Agent Fate. It appears Violet Burgundy, the colorful cleaning lady at the attorney's office, has been looting the lawyer's extra green. You caught her red-handed, red-faced, and utterly blue. What? She claims she is just the pawn in a larger game. Oh, she's got that skull thing again. Your peeping proclivity provides you the new position of infiltrator. Nice. Click below to unlock your next case. Did you see how I got that one word on on my first try of pronunciation? See? I can do things. The trust factor makes it worse. You guys are goofy. Alright, so now we have case 13. Here we go. Case 13, environmental enemy. The once crystal clear bodies of water around town are getting murky. Are getting murky. And toxic dumping seems to be the cause. Help residents clear the air, uh, water that is, by detaining the Drek dumping deviant before he strikes again. The auto body shop and nautical museums appear to be hubs of activity in this contaminated caper. When copious clues are collected, use the crime computer to crack the case. Boy, somebody had so much fun writing all of these. I, yes, on the first try and shush. All right, let's do the Nautical Museum. Oh no, this is a new place. Here's a puppy. 
All right. Handsaw beetle giraffe honey dipper. Shipwreck gorilla potato and a pair of boots. All right. A handsaw beetle and a giraffe. You would think a giraffe would be... Oh, there it is right there. A giraffe is very easy to find. A honey dipper and a shipwreck. Is that the shipwreck? Okay. Didn't look that wrecked, but whatever. A potato! What is that supposed to be? Is that like a shell? Hmm. Or a cinnamon bun. It kind of looks like a cinnamon bun. Boy, I could go for a cinnamon bun. Oh, that sounds amazing. What am I looking for? Handsaw beetle and honey dripper. It's supposed to be dipper, not dripper. There's a gorilla. Oh, I need a gorilla. Handsaw. Found one. That's the filter for a car engine. Uh, let's see. Pair of boots, beetle, and a honey dipper. What is that? Oh, that's a, a, a meter. A parking meter. There's a rolling pin. I need that in a different level. What's that? I don't know what that is. There's an eggplant. That's kind of a good place. Oh, there's a beetle. That looks like a giant stag beetle. All right, a pair of boots. There's a pair of roller skates. Oh, there's a boots. And a honey dipper. Ah, there it is. Ta-da! Yep. We did it again, Ot. <laughs> Alice Music Emporium. Wait, is this new? No, this isn't new. I think I played this in one of the other rounds. Now I don't remember, though. At any rate, a ruby necklace. Oh, no, I do remember this one, because I remember getting the ruby necklace. Yep. Gold coin, four spiders, which I just saw one, like, two seconds ago. Dang it. Uh, two keys, a maple leaf, a blue pencil, a pretzel, and a horseshoe. Okay. New spider. I kind of want to go to the ball now and get a Cinnabon. I should stop playing these games when I'm hungry. There's a spider. Okay. There's two pickles dancing. I also remember the two pickles dancing. There's a horse. What am I looking for? A gold coin. There's an orange. So that kind of looks like a gold. Is that a gold coin? Yes. Two spiders, two keys, and a maple leaf. I bet the maple leaf is in the wallpaper. Maybe not. What am I looking for? Two keys. These are keys. Ha 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 ha. There's a key. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a maple leaf. I remember that too, actually. I don't remember why I don't remember the whole scene, but I definitely remember part parts of it. Okay, one key and a blue pencil. How am I not finding- oh, there's the blue pencil. I'm like, there's nothing blue in here except that. Hmm. There's another spider. I'm usually really good at finding spiders. Because... Key, shelf, right, middle. Key, shelf. There's no wait, right, middle shelf on the right. Oh, there it is. I knew that. I'm paying attention, sort of. Actually, my problem isn't that I'm not paying attention. My problem is that I'm paying attention to everything. Wait, I saw the horse. There it is. Oh, horseshoe. And a spider. The problem is I'm paying attention to everything instead of specific things, which makes it hard to look for specific things. Oh wait, we're leaving after we get here, so we now have to go to the next one. The auto body shop. I don't recognize this at all. Bowling pin, camera, two gasoline cans, pizza cutter, snake cap, two keys, and two tiki masks. I actually don't think that's a mask, but it is a tiki thing, so we'll go with that. Here's a picky bank. I want to find the snake. Where is the snake? There's lots of lightning bolts. Two gasoline cans. There's a fez. There's a gas can. In the United States, gas cans have to be red. Tea mask, top, middle. Oh yeah, that's, I don't also think is a mask. I think those are more like statues or maybe mugs or something. Do I need a key? I do need a key. Oh, there's a snake. It's in the engine. That's not a good place for snakes to be. Snakes should not be inside car engines. Matter of fact, nothing should be inside car engines except car engines. And the fluids that uh, are inside of them. Generally speaking. One gas can. Why am I not seeing the other gas can? Gas can behind the mic. See, in the US they're supposed to be red. That, and so I was looking for a red can. That is an improperly colored thing. What is that supposed to say? Ace band? Hmm. A camera. Oh, there's a camera. 
next to the pineapple grenade. Good. Pizza cutter below the blue heart. Oh yeah, look at that. If I was paying attention. A bowling pin. There it is. Next to the fez. And a cap. Is this supposed to be the cap? No. Is that a cap? No, that's part of a hair dryer, I think. That's the cap. And one key. Key, key, key. Oh wait, no, I'm supposed to leave. And then we go to Ivan's Cafe. Umbrella, which is not in the umbrella stand. Lizard, red light, tennis ball. Oh, I know where the red light is. Binoculars, tiny bottle, feathers, and a clock. Tennis ball. Well, that's a billiard ball. What am I looking for? Tennis. Oh, where's the lizard? Here's the lizard. Tiny bottle, feathers. There's some feathers. Tiny bottle. I want a tiny bottle. Tiny things are awesome. If I had enough money, I would have a giant dollhouse in my office with little, lots of little tiny things in them. Because everything is better when it's tiny, except cinnamon rolls. Because cinnamon rolls are better when they're gigantic. Binoculars, tennis ball. I don't remember seeing a tennis ball in this room. The frog. You notice I always point out the frogs? I like frogs. They're cute. Oh wait, we have one thing I'm supposed to go to the next place. <laughs> Snake, three boats, television, pretzel, three clubs, two Saturns, baseball bat, and an old key. Well, I know where the key is. Stupid key. All right, let's see. Three boats. There's one boat. That's a tall ship. And there's a boat in a bottle. Uh, let's see. Two Saturns. There's one Saturn. And three clubs. Like, clubs to hit people with? Or clubs like the card suit? Well, there's a spade. That's not either of those things, though. What else am I looking for? Snake, boat, television. Yes, what? Oh, yes, both. There's a little tiny television. That's adorable. The pretzel was down here. Oh, was that in a different level? No, that was in a different level. And a baseball bat. Batch. Oh, there it is. Okay. Saturn in middle of carved shell. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right. Where's the snake? Oh, there's snake. There's so many animals on this statue. Is there a boat over here by any chance? Nope. All right. Uh, I need. Oh wait, there's a boat. That's an ocean liner. Pretzel and two clubs. Pretzel, 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 pretzel. And two clubs. That's a four-leaf clover, not a club. I mean, that mask isn't great either, but this one's creepier. I am not seeing any of the things. I am not looking for the right items, possibly. Where's a pretzel? Pretzels look like pretzels. I mean, there are two clubs, so I'm guessing they have to be like, like the suit rather than to hit people with. I mean, I could use a lot of these things as clubs, but I don't see any of them. Let's use one hint here. Golf club. Well, I already got a golf club. Club of, there's lots of frogs. Which frog? Oh, okay. There we go. All right, let's, let's go to the next place because those are hard. Tropical fish store. There should not be vegetables in the fish tank. Bell, anchor, sword, eggplant, alligator skull, bolt, screw, bowling pin, and a car wreck. Well, if there was a car inside the fish tank, it would definitely be wrecked. All right, let's see. A sword, an anchor, a bolt, screw, and a bell. There's a bell. 
I think I've seen this toy before. I think I said that last time. Anchor sword, bolt, screw. Anchor sword. If I looked, I'd probably find more things. There's sword. There's anchor. <laughs> it's impressive that we keep doing that. Bolt and screw. That looks like a TV antenna. Up oh, there it is. Yep, I got it. <laughs> All right, so we need four more things. Uh, let's go to Owl's Music Emporium. Horseshoe. You think? Oh wait, there it is, right there. See, I just need to leave and come back, and then I find stuff easier. I don't know why that is. Auto body shop. One key. That's a corkscrew. Really? That's pretty cool. Oh, there it is. Your mind puts stuff in the background that it doesn't think is important, even though it is important. So if you change your position or if you change, like if you give yourself a break from it, it, it sometimes helps. There's a tennis ball in here. Wait, is that it? Yeah, okay. I was looking for green and that was yellow. All right, now we have to find one of these two things, a pretzel or a club. Where is that stupid pretzel in here? No. If things had to be the right color, these would be easier to find stuff. We could use, we could, oh wait, I found the pretzel. Ha 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 ha! I win! Wow, we finished that one fast. He has weird colored pants. Oh no, it's a weird colored shirt. Is it dirty or is it that color on purpose? I wonder. Oh, those are his legs. I thought he was just wearing a coat. Okay, so they, I think they are dirty. They must be muddy. Oh no, he's pouring toxic waste. Oh no. It's not very nice. Uh, what He's pouring gross stuff into the water. Oh no. Wait, I don't remember there being an open pool thing there when we were doing the level. And the potato. Potatoes are important. I don't like potatoes, but I realize that they are an important food item. And it's not my fault. I was born that way. Ta-da! Fantastic, detec fantastic detective work agent Fate. Slick Rick, a grease monkey at the auto body shop, has been dumping his auto... Shop overflow into the water supplies all over town. That's not nice. Upon closer examination, the familiar looking logo on his jacket ties him to an organization known as STAIN. Stain. Your crime fighting aptitude has earned you the new ranking of special agent. Nice. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. The, the case 14, and then we have the big boss. Case 14, main man. With the insidious crime organization Stain uncovered, you must ensnare the syndicate's right hand if you are to have any hope of apprehending the leader. As luck would have it, a top Stain officer is wanted by law enforcement for his abnormal hair fetish? It seems the crazed individual <laughs> is hijacking hair directly from people's heads while they snooze. Help citizens regain their beauty sleep by capturing the vile quaff robber. <laughs> dude, dude, you missed the episode where someone was ringing fire alarms falsely because they wanted to ride the fire pole in their beaver costume. Turtle, fish, old car, bone, parrot, lizard, coat hanger, <laughs> leather wallet. 
You heard me. <laughs> that was like the second or third episode. Or uh, level or case or whatever. There was a dude who was ringing the fire alarm, but there were no fires and they couldn't figure out why. And it's because he wanted to slide down the fire pole in a beaver costume. Now I've... <laughs> <laughs> That's an old car. There we go. The first slide at dawn. <laughs> okay. Now that I've completely lost my concentration. Fish, bone, lizard. But not a fish bone. A fish and a bone. And a lizard. I know where the lizard is. I seem to remember not finding the bone last time. I had to look for it, though. Unless that was a different level. Oh, uh, da 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 da. Oh, there's a trident. There's a four. A fish. I thought there was a fish, though. There's a crab. Come on, brain. You've only got two things left. Let's go. You got this. Thank you, cat. Oh, there's the bone. I was right. I couldn't find that because it looks like the freaking table leg. Fishy. Oh, wait. We can leave because we only got one left. Let's do Alice's Diner. I got it, I got it. I remembered that time. All right. Three eggs, two shears, a butterfly, a fiddlehead, four balls, a pencil, a pizza cutter, and two shells. And there's two of the three eggs. And there's a shell. Uh, there's the fiddlehead, which is also a type of plant that you can eat. And it looks like a fiddlehead. Uh, there's one ball. This is another ball, even though it looks like a marble. Pencil, a pizza cutter, and a butterfly. Not in that order. There's the earth. That's a big blue ball. There's another ball. And there's another ball. Butterfly on fruit. Yes, there is. A pencil. Oh, there's a pencil. Two shears, do they mean... Yeah, okay, they mean scissors. There's a difference between shears and scissors, but that is kind of interchangeable. All right, one egg and one shell. One, there's a pie shell, that doesn't count. There's a shell. Now where's the last eggy? Oh wait, I don't need the last eggy. I can keep going. Okay. Rudy's Barber Shop. This one messes me up for some reason. I don't know why. Hand mirror, pliers, necktie, which I know I just saw. There it is. Hobby horse, three dice, five pairs of scissors, a billiard ball, and an electric clipper. There's a dice. Scissors should be easy. They're all over the place here. I would be done in like half the time if I didn't have to wait for the stuff to get into the briefcase. Hand mirror, middle right. Oh yeah, right next to where I was. I can't remember that. Oh, there's the rolling pin. I found that last time. Hobby horse, middle left. Middle left. Yes, it is. Uh, let's see. A billiard ball. There it is. And an electric clipper. There it is. And one more pair of scissors. Oh, that's on the mirror. I mean, the shop window. I mean, that is a mirror, but it's also on the shop window. And the pair of pliers is right there, which I couldn't find the first time because I kept finding the nail puller and not looking up. Auto body. Gold apple, milkshake, clock, garden spade, two gasoline cans, two lightning bolts, a crab, and army boots. There's the boots. And there's the oil can and the lightning bolts, and the poorly drawn lightning bolts, and the other gas can, and what else am I looking for? A milkshake and a clock. I know I saw a milkshake. There it is. That looks good. Milkshake and a clock and a garden spade, which is right there. Oh, the golden apple's right there, too. And a crab. Aw, he's cute. That also looks familiar. That actually looks like the shape of one of the toys on Doc McStuffins, but it's not the same color. And a clock. Oh wait, no, I can leave. Okay. 
Mausoleum. Microfilm noose. That's easy to see. Oh, look, the scissor was cutting it. That's cute. Um, keys, telephone, gold lamp, fan, whisk broom, and a roach. All right, let's see. Microphone and keys. Keys. What that's supposed to be? That's interesting looking. Uh, gold lamp. Oh, not what I was thinking. I know I saw a broom too. And a roach. I don't remember seeing a roach. Okay. Oh, wait. See, that's not a roach. Roaches have long antennae that go like back down to their butts. Telephone was down here, wasn't it? Or maybe... Nope, there it is. That was close. And a microphone. And a fan. And a whisk broom. Microphone. A fan. And a whisk broom. Surprise, I can't see the fan. What is that? I don't know what that is. Microscope. Oh, there's the broom. I don't think I would call that a whisk broom. There's the fan. Hmm, where's the microphone? No, that's more like a speaker, but I think it's a hat. Okay, you can't just stare at the screen. You have to move your eyeballs. There's a clock. Oh wait, I can leave. Two beetles, two centipedes, two snails, a knife, two nooses, three snakes, a pencil, and a violin. Okay, well there's one noose. And the violin. Is that a centipede? Nope, okay. That's a centipede though. I don't like centipedes. They move too fast. That's actually one of the things I figured out with my dislike of spiders and other bugs, is if people could move that fast, it would be freaky as hell. But bugs, like, proportionally, but, like, bugs can run at, like, top speeds pro proportionally to their size. And I don't like it. Ah, uh, a pencil. Right. And three snakes. I want to find the snakes. One snake. Two snakes. And... Where are the other snakes? that a snake? Nope. Snakes. Snakes are cute. Let's see. Two snails. Did I see any snails? There's a snail. Snails are also cute, but they are sticky. So not quite as cute. Oh, there's the other snake. Two beetles. Well, those are spiders. Is that a beetle? No, that's a bat. Is that a beetle? Wait, I thought I saw a beetle. There's one. I was right. Oh, is this the other beetle? That is a weird beetle. It has got like big buff arms. And a knife. Knife, lower right. Oh yeah, I was thinking of like a stabby knife rather than a butter knife. Though I guess you could stab someone with a butter knife. All right, let's go to the cafe. Fish. <laughs> Maybe. That's not a fish, that's a crab. We went over that last time. Hmm, where are you? Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. I don't see him. Wah, that's not what I want to do. Oh, I'm sorry, that was very loud. Wow, I never would have found that with my screen this small. That literally just looks like a knot in the wood. Okay, we need two more. So let's go to the diner. I, want to, I need one more egg. Yeah, no, that one, I was not finding that. There is no way on earth. Where is it going to be the eggy? Eggy, eggy, eggy. There's a match. Is that an egg? No. Hmm. Oh, that's cheating!
And a wild erudite appears. Well, he wants my access to the refrigerator. Hot Punk says hi, hubby. Clock. Did I see a clock in this level? Or am I making that up? Air. Oh, there it is, right there. That's a clock? That's literally a clock. I mean, it's also a radio, but it has a clock in it. Fine, that's also a clock, but that is a clock. Yeah, 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 I found it. Uh-oh, this guy's robbing the mausoleum for some reason. Is he just hanging out in the mausoleum? Like, just chilling? I guess you do you. Why does he look like a creepy Elvis? Like a really creepy Elvis. I don't know, I can't figure this dude out. Okay, yeah, he's creepy. Weird. Not him. Excellent work, Agent Fate. You caught Stain's second in command. Harold Funk Myers ill-gotten hairpiece will be quite the conversation starter in prison. Your hair-raising skills have earned you the ranking of senior operative. Ooh. Click below if you have what it takes to capture Stain's leader. I mean, you might as well. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, I have to read first. Case 15, Stain's secret hideout. With Stain's top henchman behind bars, it's now time to see if you can locate the wicked mastermind behind this gang of thugs. Scour Huntsville for clues to the whereabouts of the crime organization's hideout, and then use the crime computer's mysterious mapping methods to zero in on your target. Move quickly before word spreads that you're close to infiltrating Huntsville's most lawless legion. Okay. That's... I guess we should hurry up. <laughs> okay. We need a sword, archer, two masks, a truck, a saw, a rope, a sundial, and a man with a bow tie. I need a snake. I don't need a snake. I need a sword and a sundial, which both starts with S. There's a mask. I've already forgotten all the things I need. Sword and archer. Oh, there's the archer. Uh, let's see what else. Saw a rope and a s there's a sundial. Man with a bow tie, lower left. Oh, look at that. He's a funny little dude, isn't he? Oh, there's the rope. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's the other mask. These do look like they'd be fun to make. If I had any idea how to do that, I would. But I assume you need very specific software. And a plan of some sort would probably be good, too. Alright, one down. Let's go back up this way. <gasps> Wouldn't that be neat? Oh, man. I wish I had art skills like that. I mean, I'm not a bad artist, but I'm not that good. Alright, so a toy dirigible. A gramophone, which is still not this. A license plate, which is up here. A violin, which is down here. A hat, which is over here. A silver teapot. Oh, that's right there. Roses and the seal press. Ha! This one's easy. Now. Okay. Let's do the fire station next. Goggles, two flasks, three hearts, two suns, hot water bottle, three frogs, and three axes. See, the thing with this is each one of these things is one thing. They should each count as individual things towards that number. I don't want frogs, though. Frogs are awesome sauce. And a heart. 
and flasks. Huh? What is another frog? Oh, that's a dead frog. Dead frogs are not as cool as the live ones. Let's see. Axes. That's a pickaxe. Does that count? Nope. Okay. Frog legs are yummy. Yeah, that one was preserved in formaldehyde, so I'm pretty sure that one would not be good eats. Pretty sure. Hot water bottle. No, not not yummy. Not yummy at all. Is that a flask? No, I don't know what that is. Uh, two suns. There's a fish. Do I need a fish? No. I need goggles. Oh, I need goggles. Where do I see goggles? There's goggles. All right, I need goggles, one heart, one flashlight, two suns, and one axe. Ooh, marble. There's sun. And... Oh, there's a flask and a flashlight. And... What else do we need? One flask, one heart, one sun, one axe. Oh, I'm whistling. Is that a flask? No, it's a thermos. Like I knew that. Oh, there's the other flask. By the puppy. The puppy was guarding it. Axe in front of the washboard. Oh yeah, look at that. Right in front of my face. And one heart and one sun. Where was the other heart? We already found the three hearts once. Oh, there it is. It's a card. And we can go to the next place. Which is Pete's Pawn Shop. Two bowl, no, two bows, not two bowls. Two bows, a pail, seven. We never found the seven, did we? Because it's not that seven. Attack was over here. Two old cars. Two hammers, a saw, and a dime. Okay, so we need two bows, a pail, and a seven. Two bows, a pail, a seven. Up oh, there's another old card. Did you you missed the uh, the first episode? So one of the things in the first episode was a footnote. Look, see, it, it's a footnote. No, it's not the one on the seven, unless it's the one on the twenty-seven. No. Look, look, see, it's a footnote. See the footnote. Isn't that cute? Ha ha ha. What am I looking for? Two bows, seven, two ham- oh, this is a hammer. Kinda. I didn't say it was a good joke, I just said you missed it. Uh, I don't remember- oh wait, there's a bow. Ha ha. Not the right kind of bow. Or not the kind of bow, I was- and there's the other one. Dang damn it. Alright, two hammers. Where's a hammer? Hammer, 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 hammer. That's technically like a hammer. It's a mallet. Mallets and hammers are similar. And a saw. I wasn't looking for a saw at all. I didn't see a saw. Oh, I saw a hammer though. Seesaw, Marjorie. Ot Punk will have a new master. She will make but a penny a day because she can't work any faster. I wasn't paying attention. Saw below hammer. Saw below hammer. You need to be more specific. Wait, here? No, up there? Oh, there's a saw. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Seesaw Marjorie Daw. It's a, uh, another esoteric nursery rhyme I know. Slice of pie. It's up here, which I would love some pie, by the way. Eight ball, two pins, four writing devices, a fishing rod, a jar lid, which I assume is on the jar. Nope. Uh, closed scissors and a flower. The closed scissors are over here. All right, let's see. An eight ball, which I remember seeing. There it is. Yep. Um, four writing devices, huh? There's a pencil. A jar lid, which is not this jar lid. And a flower. Wait, that's a leaf, not a flower. Three writing devices, a fishing rod. What the heck's a fishing rod? That's gotta be kind of big, doesn't it? Maybe not. Uh, two pins. Two pins. Like, what kind of pins? I wonder. That's a screw. 
<laughs> Is that a pin? Now it's a nail. Three writing devices, a fishing rod, a charlotte, and a flower. Is there a flower in here? No. Paintbrush isn't really a writing device. I mean, it could be technically. Crayon is a writing device. I will give them that. Uh, I think there's a writing thingy under the soda. Where? Here? I don't know what that is. What the heck was that? Oh, that was the fishing pole. Weird. Ah, pen. A charlotte and a flower. Yeah, I, I didn't expect that either. Is that a flower? That's a flower. All right, now I just need a jar lid, even though that's a jar lid. Where's the jar lid? That's a thread. Come on, I just need one more. One more. That's a teapot lid, but that's also not it. That's a jar lid. It's a jar of sugar. <laughs> All right, I want to go to the next one. Greg's Toyland this is my favorite level. Mask, toilet, bug robot, scale, policeman, two fans, pink rose, and dog on wheels. There's a dog on wheels. A dog on wheels. Oh, that's all one thing. It kind of looks like it was a... Uh, is that the policeman? Oh, there's a policeman. There's a pink rose. A mask, a bug robot. Is that him? He's so cute. I love him. Uh, let's see. Scale and two fans. And a mask. Oh, there's the mask. This, there's a fan. One of my aunts used to collect old-fashioned fans. She had like a bazillion of them. There's another one. And a scale. Oh, wait. I guess I can go on to the next one, though. And the captain's in with the creepy masks. Two fish, three fans, cowboy... Gold coin, four leaf clover, soda bottle, five frogs, and a matchstick. Yeah, you get to find the frogs. There's one frog, two frogs, three frogs, There's fish over here. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Except they're all gray, so. Matchstick, three fans. There's a fan. Different kind of fans. Frog lower left. Here's a frog. Oh, he's cute. He's a tree frog. Soda bottle. I thought I saw a soda bottle. Maybe not. Cowboy. I know I saw a cowboy. That's not a cowboy. Where did I see the cowboy? Why does it look like that death is on a bicycle? Weird. Um, that's the three-leaf clover. Where did I see the four-leaf clover? I remember finding it, and it wasn't right because it was four leaves. There it is. Okay. Cowboy gold coin. Oh, I saw the gold coin. Oh, there's the matchstick. Cowboy soda bottle and a frog. Cowboy soda bottle and a frog. Cowboy. There's a cowboy. That looks like John Wayne. Um... Soda bottle. And where's the- oh, there's the last frog. That's not the last frog! Looks like a frog. Fine, where's the last frog then if you're so smart? And where's the soda bottle? Because I don't see any soda bottle. Oh, there's a soda bottle. That's pretty clever. Alright, map. Candy stick, two horns, turtle, which is down here. Whisk, walking stick, duck. There's a duck. Pair of glasses and a garlic clove. All right, candy stick. Like, uh, is that it? Not a delicious looking candy stick. That one looks like it's been out for a really long time or something. Okay, two horns, a whisk, whisk in the umbrella stand. You are right. Whisk, walking stick, pair of glasses, garlic clove. Oh, there it is. It's pretending to be a flower. Mm 
garlic flowers don't come from the same part of the plant as the garlic you eat, though. That's, that's the root, kind of. Two horns, walking stick, pair of glasses, walking stick in the umbrella stand. Really? Oh yeah, I'm looking straight at it too. Good job, me. Two horns. Oh, there's a horn. Good job, brain. And a pair of glasses, which is right on the table where glasses actually go. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I need another horn, which I... S oh, wait, no, I don't. I can go to the next one. The Nautical Museum. Potato, which is right there. Oh, there is a hole in the floor. Oh, look, Nessie's in there. That's adorable. Uh, brass horn, scooter, elephant, peanut, exit sign, wagon wheel, and a parking meter. So a parking meter. And the wagon wheel's right next to it. Nessie's adorable. It's a, it's a cute monster. All right, let's see here. Brass horn. I forgot what it was. Brass horn, scooter, elephant, and a peanut. Anybody want a peanut? There's a peanut. I like salted peanuts, but like just shelled peanuts do not appeal to me at all. Nessie is the ghost of a dinosaur? What? What are you talking about? Brass horn. Are you serious? You, they can't find her because she's a ghost. Really? Oh my gosh. Link in the description, folks. Alright, art museum. Barbed wire is right there. Three army men, a gavel, bananas. <laughs> Good for you. A sand dollar, a dagger, a paper clip, and an ear. I seem to remember finding the dagger. Yeah, there it is. Even though it's sword length. Three army men. One. Oh wow, they're hiding too. That's cool. Two. And three. Alright, now I need an ear, a sand dollar, and a gavel. Oh, the gavel's over here. Sand dollars. Sand dollars are cool. Alright, let's see. An ear. We can use a hint. There's an ear. I should have seen that. Alright, let's go back to Alice's diner. I want to know where some of these things are. Are you serious? This is the jar lid? That's not a whole jar lid. That's a screw on part. Jerks. Yes, I agree. It is illegal. I am not happy about that. Uh, I think we're going to go to the next place because unless that's a pin, no. All right. Wait, fate. Why am I waiting? Oh, there's a safety pin. Go to the place with the seven. Yes, 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 yes. Which one was that? That was the pawn shop. It's dice. It's a rolled seven. That's upsetting. <laughs> Apparently, Ott is slightly more angry than I am. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, scales, scales, scales. I love this little house. Wait, there's a scale. Yay! We did it! I think we won! Oh, we have to make the map. Okay, that's the fire department. The diner's down here somewhere. Where's the top of the diner? Is that the diner? Where's the diner sign? Yeah, no, we beat that part really fast. It was that those two that we had the second game that beat our butts. Well, I mean, that was probably because I wasn't paying attention, but, you know, it was also hard, probably. Wait, shouldn't that be over here? Where's Hunt and Peck? Hunt and Peck's not even on the map. Oh, no, there it is. I thought that was in a completely different place. Wasn't that supposed to be over here? Hmm. Moving stuff to confuse me on purpose. 
Not that that's hard to do. This one's supposed to be. Oh, wait. Ah, ah. I got the bird bar. Oh, you go there. You go here. You go there. I'm not using using recordings over here somewhere. I'm looking at the map. Why am I not looking at the map? No, no, there. no. Oh, yeah. oh, that's the top of the map. I didn't even notice that. Heaven's sakes. It's the first thing you're supposed to do is find the edge pieces. Sheesh. All right. Let's start museum. Toy shop. Okay, so here somewhere. Fire station. No. That's there. Ha 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 ha. Wise guy. Stain headquarters is inside the fountain. Phenomenal detective work, Agent Fade. You've discovered the hidden entrance to Stain's headquarters. You're very close to putting an end to Stain's reign of terror. It wasn't that bad. Click below to search the big boss's secret hideout. Wait, I thought we already did that. Okay. We only got four minutes to do this one? Oh, this is not good. The big boss. With the hidden entrance to Stain's headquarters exposed, you can now search for clues to identify to the identity of the organization's leader. Once enough clues are located, use the curious crime computer to catch the big boss and foil the felonous fa- uh, Yeah, no, felonous faction. Please hurry. You have little time before the evil mastermind gets away. Huntsville citizens are counting on you to end the plague of criminal activity. Okay, guys, here we go. Sun Fiddlehead, two bunches of grapes, comb, pretzel, cookie, gavel, three leaf clover. That's a butterfly, not a clover. All right, let's see. Sun Fiddlehead, comb, pretzel, cookie, lots of money. I'm not supposed to be looking for money though. There's a clover. I don't need a clover. What do I need? Fiddlehead on the chair arm. Oh yeah, look at that. Sun. Oh wait, I thought I saw the sun, but I did not. There's a pretzel. Oh, I need a pretzel. Oh, and a cookie. That's like a jam thumbprint. Or, uh, no, not a jam thumbprint. Uh, what you call it? Th that cookie that's delicious. I'll put it in the notes. Uh, let's see. Comb. Fate, we must focus. I know, I'm trying. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about the person my dad knew named Cookie Pretzel. I'm not talking about what kind of cookie that is. I am forgetting all the things I'm looking for, though. Three leaf clover. Wait, what? Which part? My dad knew a girl, I'm pretty sure this is the part you're talking about, whose name was Cookie, and she married a guy whose last name was Pretzel. Yeah, Cookie Pretzel. I'm not looking for anything, though, so we are not going to do good here. Here we go, son. Two bunches of grapes. I'm going! I'm going! Yeah, ask my dad. I'll tell you about it. A comb and a three-leaf... Oh, I can use hints. Comb... And a three leaf clover. Oh, that was easy. I should have found that. Ugh. Oh, it's the old lady who's knitting. Knitting people are evil, right? Right, Up Punk? Shut up! How is that helpful, game? See? Up Punk agrees with me. Ooh, she's grumpy, too. Um, uh, sure. I mean, yes, except she's the cause of the issue, I think, so that's her own fault if she's grumpy about it. Cause, cause she, she was being mean and evil and getting people to do not nice stuff. Ah! I'm not okay with this! Where's the lamp? The lamp is over here. No! Stop counting down like that! You're making me nervous! Where's the thing? No! Wait! Dice! Uh, ah! Uh, I don't know what I'm doing! No! Wait! Um, okay, Yes! Congratulations, Agent Fate! Your persuasive puzzle solving has uncovered the identity of Huntsville's most illicit evildoer! Who could have guessed that the gentle Gertrude Goodlittle could be the puppet master behind Stain's evil enterprises? 
Thanks to you, Huntsville citizens can rest easy knowing you clipped the strings on this malevolent mob. Pretty much, yeah. Your expert case cracking has earned you the top ranking of Master Detective! Woohoo! Wear your badge with pride, Agent Fate, for you are truly Huntsville's most preeminent, preeminent puzzle solving professional. Click below to get today's news. Oh, when you first start the game up, there's the newspaper. Stain crime ring cleaned up. Oh, boy. MCF agent hailed as Huntsville hero. Stain co-conspirators blotted out in sting operation. Key to the city, Agent Fate. Look, I got the key to the city. Congratulations, you solved all the crimes. Can you do it in less time with different clues? No. <laughs> oh, look at this. So we did Huntsville, Prime Suspects is next. Then Ravenhurst, Madam Fate, Return to Ravenhurst, Million Hair, I don't remember that one, Dire Grove, Thirteen Skull, Escape from Raven bleh, Ravenhurst, and then Coving Soon. Yay! Wait, what? Did I not make the top? Probably not. What's my time? Did it give me like a time? Credits, high scores. Oh, there's the credits, okay. 2005, wow. Oh, look, they got clip art from a specific place. I always wondered about that. Am I fourth? Oh, I can read. <laughs> so all of these other people are imaginary, by the way. Um, I am the only one who's played this on this computer. Ah, uh, apparently I'm slightly worse than MacGyver and a little bit better than Perot. So, ha. I don't know how glassy got on here, but sure. Yes, no, that's a good idea. Okay, so close and we could be done. Yay, we did it. Woohoo. Oh, and I can push my computer screen back so it's not five inches from my face. Oh, that's so much better. Ah. Oh. Actually, the last time I played, I think it's because we had to rush so much at the ends of a couple of puzzles and I was moving my eyes a lot. I actually got a little bit nauseous because I get vertigo when, uh, when it's super unhelpful. And that would be one of the times. I think I gave myself a little bit of vertigo playing last time. So hopefully the next game has a much bigger screen Though I know it won't be super big because they don't get full screen for at least another five or six games, I would think. But at any rate, yeah, so that was fun. I really love those old games because they are just absolutely ludicrous. Yeah, well, we have to, well, we're, we're working on a Haunted Hotel. We have to do more Haunted Hotel. I don't remember which one, but I know we have to do it. Yeah, where you can actually see things, correct. The next one is a year after this one, so it will be a little bit better. And then we get to do Ravenhurst. I guess he knows. James is not actually dead though. It, that's just you wishing that the alternate ending was canon. So, sorry. <laughs> so, I guess this will be the end then. I am fate touched and I will see you later. Bye.